Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So we're going to be talking about orthographic projection today. What is it? How do you use it? And how do you read it? Okay, here we go. This video has been sponsored by Bloop Animation. If you want to learn 2D or 3D animation, the principles of any animation, storyboarding foundations, or even how to create an entire animated movie, then just follow the link in the description and you will get a begin to end course while supporting my channel at no extra expense to you. All right guys, so we're in Photoshop right now. I opened up this image called orthographic projection and I did that for a reason, obviously. Now, if you're working as a 3D artist, at some point you will run into this term, you will run into drawings that are set up in this way, maybe from a client or whatnot, and it's pretty important for you to be able to know how to read it and how to reproduce it, okay? So first of all, what is it? Well, um, orthographic projection is a projection along parallel lines. Let me explain, right? Now, uh, I'll take a little brush here. If we look at this line, for example, here on the front, right? So if you look at this line, let's say from here to here, right? That would be this right here, okay? But more importantly, when you take all the elements from the 3D projection and you put it in here, you'll see that these lines, so this and this and this and this, it's all perfectly parallel. Now, why do you do it that way? Because you have a very good understanding of scale and measurement, okay? So if you get a drawing like this, you can see that looking at the top, this is not going inward or outward. It's completely square, 90 degree angle, right? So this is seen from the front, from the top, from the side. Now, that seems to be very simple, but keep in mind that this is a very simple object, right? And I'm using this one so I can explain how things work. So let's see what's what. We're going to start with the front here. What do we see on the front side of our 3D object? We see this right here, and we see that, and we see that face. So the L right there, that's this. The one in the middle right there, that's this. And the one on the right is this. Easy peasy, right? Okay, let's go back. Let's get rid of that. How about the top? On the top, we see that, which is this. And then we see this which is this, still pretty easy, right? Okay, let's go back. Right, so front side, we did that, top side, we did that. Now, right side is slightly different because on the right side, what do we see? We see this right here, which is this, and then we have a long face right here, and on the inside, a short one. Now, if you look closely here, you see there is a dotted line. A dotted line means that there's a face behind the face, right? So you have the long face in front and then the short face in the middle there, that's behind that one. And that dotted line indicates that there's one behind the other. So the dotted line would be this right here, if you know what I mean, right? And it would be projected over here. So you had something like this going on. Hope that makes sense, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, Maya. I'll uh, create something like this, and then uh, we'll talk. I'll talk you through it. Right here we go. All right, guys. So we're in Maya, and as you can see, I loaded up the reference images and I recreated the object, and that will give us a pretty clear understanding of what's going on. Right. So if we go in here in the perspective view and we compare this right here to let's say our drawing right here, right. So that's our 3D object, pretty straightforward, okay? And as you can see in the other views, it lines up perfectly. So in our front view with our object, and this is our same object here, I can show you if I hit W and move this around, you'll see that that will move around as well, right? It controls you to go back, that will snap back in place. And once you have this set up here, what you basically do is you start to work from one angle and then you align with the others, right? So let's say I started working on my front angle. So what I'll do is I'll take the other images and I'll uh, move them out of the way for a sec, right? So everything's out of place. The only thing that I got working here for me is the front view, right? 
So I align my drawing with my front view model. I make sure it's just on the grid right here. And I move the drawing towards the model, not the model towards the drawing. And then I know that this is my top projection, right? So I take my drawing and I align it with my top view like so, right? And then the same right here, this is my right side. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna align it like this. Now, remember that dotted line that I showed you guys? Here you have a good representation of that. So I talked about the side on the front here, the long face and then the short one. Here you can see a very distinctive darker patch here, which basically means there's another face behind that face, right? So hopefully that explains a little bit how orthographic projection works. Uh, like I said, this is a very simple one, but nevertheless a good one to use as a, uh, an aid in this tutorial. What I'll do is I'll put a link below to this image and I encourage you to try to take this into Maya and recreate the model for yourself so you get a better understanding, okay? Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you got any questions, as always, let me know. Uh, don't forget to check out my Facebook group. Uh, 3,000 plus artists hanging out there. It's a lot of fun. So uh, do that. And uh, that said, see you guys next time. Bye.